everybody, it's Kate McKibben here from Secret Bloggers Business and welcome to Pinterest Tip Tuesday. This is the third in my little series of Pinterest tips for bloggers and today I'm going to talk to you about SEO and your board titles and how that all kind of works together. So hang on and I'll show you exactly how it's done. Alrighty guys, let's get into this. So I'm sure some of you would have noticed that when you're Googling things at the moment, um, or or actually, if you haven't noticed already, now that I've told you this, you won't help but notice it everywhere. But normally right now, if you type something into Google, uh, quite often some of the very top results will actually be Pinterest boards. And these aren't official Google Pinterest boards or official Pinterest Pinterest boards. They're just some random person's Pinterest board. And you know, That's pretty cool. That means that you could have a Pinterest board, which has got your content on it coming up as, you know, number two, three or four on a Google search page. And that's going to, you know, get people in there, seeing what you're about, falling in love with you and your brand, but also sending them through to your content. And I think that's pretty cool. So how do you make the most of this? Well, the first thing is you've got to stop being so cute and clever with the titles of your boards. Yes, it sounds way more fun to call a board something like, you know, like, brr, it's cold outside when you mean winter fashion ideas, but Google's not going to get it. And chances are maybe your readers aren't going to get it either. And even when they're searching within Pinterest, it's not going to bring up that board. So it's time to get back to basics. Sorry if it's a little bit boring, but, you know, you can make up for all of that by pinning really beautiful, amazing things onto that board. I think everyone will forgive you for giving it a boring name. It means that Google's going to find it easier, that Pinterest is going to find it easier, and it's going to make that board work so much more effectively for you as well. So that's my tip. Stop being so clever with your titles. Time to get back to basics. Just chuck full them up with keywords. And I, fingers crossed, one of those are going to be appearing on a Google page very soon. So that's it from me. I will see you guys all next week for another Blog Tip Tuesday. If you've been loving these blog tips, make sure you subscribe to our channel or head on over to secretbloggersbusiness.com and leave a comment. Um, Or even better, if you're looking for more Pinterest goodness, come and join us for our brand new program, Pinterest for Bloggers. Alrighty, see you guys. Bye. Hi again, guys. Just one last little thing. If you love today's blog tip and you want to know more Pinterest goodness, then make sure you come over and check out my brand new program. It's called Pinterest for Bloggers and it's the 31 day plan to make Pinterest fall in love with your blog. So I cover off all of, you know, your setup stuff like how to get a business page, uh, what you need, uh, how to order your blogs, how to name them for SEO, how to set up your actual blog post to make sure everything's pinnable and shareable, um, how you can track things. All of that good stuff that's a good solid foundation and then i also share my top secret strategies that have helped me get up over 150,000 followers on pinterest so far um, normally at the moment we get between 200 to 300,000 visitors to the blog from pinterest every single month and also we're growing uh, at around about one to two thousand new pinterest followers a week and to do all this takes about an hour a week and it's definitely one of the best spent hours that I do um, as far as return wise and I want to show you exactly how you can do that for your blog too. So come over to either secretbloggersbusiness.com or pinterestforbloggers.com and check out our brand new program. It all kicks off really soon and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Alrighty, see you guys next week. Bye!